boys and girls. Today, we're going to read a book called The Lost Grilled Cheese. The author is Nick E. Nero. The Lost Grilled Cheese. On a Friday night after hockey practice, Jackie Greenbeam walked into the house. His sister, little lady Libby, was in the kitchen with their dad making extra cheesy grilled cheese sandwiches. While Jackie Greenbean went upstairs to get ready for bed, his dad cooked up a storm, a storm of epic cheese. Jackie Greenbean took a warm, glorious shower, brushed his teeth, put on cuddly, soft pajamas, and walked back to the kitchen. Climbing up on a stool, he looked around, and all Jackie saw was an empty purple plate. Dad, where in the Milky Way is my grilled cheese? asked Jackie. I put it on the purple plate, replied his dad. Mm, dad, you better sound the alarm, said Jackie. What alarm? The one that goes off when a grilled cheese is missing, said Jackie. Oh, well, okay. His dad did his best emergency siren sound. Let's get that sandwich back, son. What is your plan? With no time to respond, Jackie Greenbean ran off to his room. Jackie Greenbean decided he would search the world over for his grilled cheese. Jackie gathered supplies and packed his bag with a hat binoculars, and flashlight. It is time for me to hit the road, he said. Or is it high time for me to get to sea? Jackie thought, smiling. He grabbed his bag of supplies and headed to the nearest seaport to find a captain. Jackie Greenbean found a captain and started the journey to find his missing sandwich. He had headed to he was headed to Africa with Captain Jelly Surfer on an old wooden ship. Out to sea, Captain Jelly Surfer asked about the lost cheesy sandwich. It is crispy brown all over and is warm to the touch, Jackie stated. When you hold it with two hands, it pours out a soft, shiny, golden treasure, said Jackie, smiling. I, me little man, be searching for a treasure, said Captain Jelly Surfer. Where do you think would be a good place to look for my cheesy golden treasure, asked Jackie. Captain Jelly Surfer was so excited by the word treasure that he thought the missing grilled cheese was a real treasure chest filled with gold. Well, if I were he and he were I, he would tell I to hop a ride on an elephant's hide. The elephant will race a fast while up to the river Nile, said the captain. Oh boy, shouted Jackie Greenbean. But where will we stop, he asked. Yar, it be in Egypt, me little man. Me find his prize. That is, if I were he and had two eyes, said Jackie, jelly surfer chuckling. The ship arrived off the coast of Africa. Jackie grabbed his bag, jumped ship, and made his way to shore. He didn't have to wander far as he found that friendly elephant ride, just as the captain had said. Jackie Greenbean hopped on the friendly elephant and away they rode. Jackie waved goodbye. Thank you, thank you, Captain Jelly Surfer. The friendly elephant ran like the wind. They arrived in Egypt and Jackie searched the py pyramids high and low, but he found no treasure and found no grilled cheese. He searched the Sphinx. He asked many mummies, but no lost grilled cheese. He could hear his stomach start to growl and decided to move on and keep searching. Jackie Greenbean decided to see if the King of Egypt could offer any help. 
Hello, Mr. Farrell. Could you help me find my lost green cheese? Asked Jackie. Please call me Daddy-O, replied the Farrell. Okay, Mr. Daddy-O. I really need to find this grilled cheese before I go to bed. Can you help me? Asked Jackie. Why, of course, my young prince, responded the king of Egypt. But if the famous cheese that you speak of is what you seek, it shall be far from here. The pharaoh continued, if for the lost green cheese you so desperately care, then I have this special camel that you can ride and her secret I shall share. The pharaoh confessed, she is an extraordinary beast. She cannot walk or run in the least, but son, she can fly. So with that and without hesitation, Jackie Greenbean mounted the special camel beast. Jack held on tightly, she spread her wings and toward Mount Everest she flew. Thank goodness the flying special camel was able to land on top of Mount Everest because Jackie never would have been able to climb it alone. There he stood on top of the mountain. He peered to the left and he peered to the right, but the extra cheesy grilled treat was nowhere to be seen. From atop the world, it seemed that Jackie would never find his golden cheese treasure. As he was putting away his binoculars, Jackie saw what looked like the Statue of Liberty. She was running with one hand carrying her torch and the other one holding the lost grilled cheese. Jackie grabbed a sled and flew down the mountain, racing after the Statue of Liberty. He followed her around Mount Everest, past the pyramids of Egypt he chased after her, Daddy-o, I found the treasure, he shouted. Jackie ran at her heels through Africa, past the friendly elephant. He waved to Captain Jelly Surfer as they swam across the big blue sea. Aye, aye, Captain, I found the treasure, he yelled out. Jackie Greenbean traveled the world for his lost grilled cheese sandwich and he caught up with the Statue of Liberty at the kitchen table. Hello, young prince, said Pharaoh daddy -o. I have something to give you for all your travels. The Pharaoh handed him a warm and especially cheesy grilled cheese sandwich. He was so happy as he bit into the golden cheese treasure. You know what, said Jackie laughing, next time my sandwich goes missing, I'll know where to look. The Statue of Liberty started laughing as they each finished a grilled cheese sandwich before going to bed. And that's the end of our story. Goodbye.